Hey everyone, I'm Alex. Thanks for joining us today. I'm so excited to take you around the Seoul VR AR Expo 2021. We're here in COEX, Seoul, South Korea, one of the most high-tech cities in the world. There's a lot of companies here, and they're bringing in their technologies, their products, their know-how to showcase to the world. It haven't been around the tech and startup industry in Korea for the last 10 years. I'm really excited to see what the future holds. You know, what are the trends in the industry? And of course, I'm pretty excited to play with the gadgets as well. And of course, this is Korea, so they've got all the necessary safety measures in place, including a temperature check, an ID check-in and check-out system, and of course, anything else that you would need to keep yourself safe. So I got some tips from NIPA, the National IT Industry Promotion Agency here in Korea, and they provide support for startups as well as small and medium enterprises. Anyway, I want to see what these companies have to offer at the expo, so let's go see some of them right now. Right behind me is Cellbig, a VR AR company that specializes in augmented reality. And today, they're going to show me how to bring my artistic skills from the real world into the virtual world. Wow, so what do we have here? That's incredible. So where can we find this product in the real world? So how is this different from what we did over there? 이쪽에서 보실 수 있는 거는 이제 해양 동물들의 이미지를 통해서 자신만의 물고기를 만들어서 어, 3D로 확인을 해볼 수 있을 수가 있고 등록을 통해서 월드로 이동을 시킬 수가 있습니다. This is my drawing. This is my beautiful dolphin. And we're going to put that into the virtual world over there. Oh, there it is. Wow, you could actually see the lines, the texture of the dolphin. I swear if I had this at a children's museum when I was growing up, I would have loved this. What a cool product. All right, I gotta admit, this is one of the main draws for the younger crowd. The VR, the AR. Behind me, I, I was seeing someone play badminton earlier, basketball, golf. I think they have table tennis. Uh, over here, they got something that kind of looks like what I've seen with screen golf. They got archery going on right now, and there's a line forming for people that actually want to get involved and uh, have a little fun here. This, this looks like, I might have to do some myself. Why use this when you have this? I think one of the trends in the industry, of course, is mixing mixed reality with exercise. And it's definitely more entertaining. Oh, I'm going off the track. It's definitely more entertaining to do this because you kind of forget that you're in the middle of a workout. But I'm starting to feel the sweat right now. All right, whenever you're at any of these exhibitions, you gotta say hi to the robots. And right here, we have one from NDS Solutions. Now, they're a company that makes kiosks and also the software. But if you look here, this one's interesting because right now, we are looking at a multi-language service robot. So you can choose Korean, Vietnamese, Chinese, English. It's for the Seoul Family Administrative Court because at this court, there are people from many different countries that might need help finding their way. It's a map, it also gives government information, it does speech recognition in any of those languages. So this is a very useful robot, but they have more than just this. Let's see what else they have. You've got a lot of really cool stuff here. Where can we find your products out in the real world? You can find anywhere. This, this kiosk is located, located in Muan Airport. It's called Payment Kiosk. This much machine, this kiosk, Gangwon Land Casino with a VR. You can order with a kiosk. Oh, so this can like order coffee? Order, yes. Barcode, receipt. And what is this one over here? This one is what we call information kiosk. The information kiosk. So this is great for tourists who are trying to find the hot spots around an area. Correct. You can have this kiosk at the airport. Yes, correct. Okay, thank you so much for sharing this with us. Now, not only do they have a lot of booths here with all the companies presenting what they have, they also have some keynote speakers that have come in to give presentations to help us learn a little bit more about what's going on now and in the future in the industry. Behind me is Extriple, another company supported by Nipo. And what's really cool about this company is they use mixed reality. 
to help make workplaces safer. Let me explain. So take a look at the headset behind me that he's using. That headset is sending a live POV feed to someone, maybe an expert who's not on site. And that expert can see the video, even annotate in the video, maybe point out a button that you need to press and help you solve a problem. Let's go check it out. So Xtriple, what does Xtriple make? 예, 저희는 요 홀로렌즈 안에 넣는 소프트웨어, 그 원격 지원 협업 시스템을 지금 개발하고 있습니다. So what is the application of your software? Where do you use it? 어, 실제로 전문가가 현장에 갈수 없는 상황들이나 어, 그런 것들에 또는 장거 너무 장거리라든가 이럴 때 이제 비용적인 측면을 고려해서 이런 시스템을 이용해서 그런 것들을 감축할 수 있도록 저희가 이런 것들을 서비스하고 있습니다. All right, behind me is Prozen. They make AR, augmented reality glasses, and they got a lot of stuff under development, but right now I'm gonna see what's on display right over there. Prozen, AR, augmented reality glasses. Where do you use this? Does it connect to your phone or how does that work? Yeah. 있고, oh, okay. So right now I'm looking at butterflies. You can actually see the computer screen on the right side over here. And you have other things under development right now, right? Yeah. 저희가 가지고 있는 제품은 산업용으로 광 시야각을 제공하는 70도 이상의 광, 넓은 시야각을 제공하는 오리넘 타입의 디바이스를 만들고 있어요. Oh, so it's got a much wider field of vision that works with that, right? Yeah. Oh, very cool. Right behind me is Data King, one of the companies supported by NIPA. And what's really cool about this is even though we are in an exhibition hall right now, they create a virtual online exhibition. And it's really easy for anyone to create their own exhibition. And you can even customize it, the colors of the walls or whether there's windows or not. What's great about this though, especially in these times, it's safer. You don't have to travel to get to this exhibition. There's no waiting in line. And as long as you have a link, anyone in the world can see it. It was definitely great to walk around and really see some of the trends that are happening in the industry. I think one of the bigger trends is definitely mixing VR and AR with training and education. We've seen some things where it's for, you know, children's education, but also on-site, on-the-job training. Sports was another big one, too. I've seen a lot of ways that you can mix VR and AR with sports, whether it be for exercise or just for entertainment, like a virtual reality video game. So that's a wrap for the Seoul VR AR Expo 2021, and it certainly did not disappoint. We got to check out the new technologies, all the cool gadgets, and the trends that we can expect in the future. Speaking of which, looking forward to what's in store for us next year at Seoul VR AR Expo in 2022.